Industry Insider coming to you from Lime's Rooftop Bar Hotel here for Big Sound 2012 and uh, joining me, Michael Chuck from Chug Entertainment. How are you, Chuggy? I'm good, son. Very good. Thank you very much for giving us your time, mate. No, you're always busy and, uh, you know, it's a rare opportunity to, to, to have, have you on camera, so thank you. Oh, I'm just hanging out, so... So, what, what, let's, let's have a chat about the hanging out here at Big Sound. Uh, what, what, what are you up here uh, uh, doing? We've, uh, we, um, we've just gone back into the young Aussie band business and... Uh, uh, we're managing five young acts and recording and touring them. And, uh, we've got a showcase here on uh, Wednesday, uh, Thursday. It's Wednesday today, isn't it? It is Wednesday today. Yeah, we've got a showcase here tomorrow with a great young band from Brisbane called um, Shepherd, who I actually just took around the world very quickly. And very young indie band, and prolific young songwriter. So, brother and two sisters and three other players in the band. And they've got a showcase tomorrow, and we've got a young band from Sydney called Lime Cordial, uh, who were doing the showcase as well. So I came up for those. Um, I've actually got Rufus Wainwright on tour at the moment, and he's playing at Pack here in Brisbane tonight. And um, a lot of my friends from all around the world are here, so it was just a good excuse to come to Big Sound. Yeah, good catch-up? Yeah, it's a good conference. Uh, Graham Ashton, who has been running for the last couple of years, has done a great job. and. Uh, we got about 800 delegates here, people from all around the world. And, you know, right now, um, Australia and New Zealand are the hotbed of music. And uh, that's not me saying that. That's a lot of uh, highly respected people around the world who, you know, have voiced that opinion to me in the last five or six weeks while I've been on the road. And um, it's great to be able to be part of it and help and give my experience and opinions of which I have a few, <laughs> and um, yeah, just hang out. Yeah, are there, uh, apart, apart from the acts you're, you're here representing, uh, are, are there any other acts that have taken your fancy while you've been here? Oh, anything you've heard that about, anything? On well, the, on the... no, but I'm going to see about 10 acts tonight. I mean, some of the great country acts like Catherine Britton, Jasmine Ray, and uh, another young band we have, a Brisbane band called Hey Geronimo, that are doing very well, uh, are playing, and I just, there is a lot of music here in Brisbane this week, and it'll be interesting to see how... I saw the medics last night. They were great. Yeah, they were great. It's fantastic. Yeah. at the zoo there. Yeah. yeah, so there's a lot going on, and, uh, you know, it's great that it's not just the industry people, but tonight there'll be a couple of thousand Brisbane music fans out and about. And it's good to see and good to be part of it, and it gives me a chance to promote all our tours. We have a lot of tours coming up. Long way to the top, 10th anniversary, Elton John, Coldplay, which is sold out, so you know, we don't really need to do that. <laughs> yeah. With Jimmy Buffett arriving in the country tomorrow. So it's just a good time. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a chat a little bit more about Long Way to the Top. That's, yeah. um, you, you know, the, the, uh, what an event. I mean, what a lineup of artists. And, and yeah, no, it was really incredible. And, uh, you know, thanks to the late Billy Thorpe, we put it on the road and it, it actually did a lot of things that uh, 10 years ago, and it, it was the biggest, still is the biggest rating documentary, music documentary ever on the ABC. Um, they've been rerunning it, and we thought, well, we'll take it out. But the original Long Way did a lot. It, uh, it, re it recreated a lot of careers. Um, it helped get rid of that old fart stuff that was, you know, oh, they're old farts, they don't mean anything anymore. And it also, um, after that event, um, all of a sudden young Aussie bands started to admit that people like Billy Thorpe and Brian Cadd were their uh, inspirations to get into the business. And it uh, started a lot of collaborations with young and old musicians and it, it really did uh, also, you know, most importantly, it, it it documented a major part of Australian music history, and uh, which had been badly documented, and still is in a lot of ways not that well documented. But Long Way, which started off, it was going to be a one-hour show, ended up as a six-part series. And whilst it it missed some acts, and then uh, along came Lovers in the Air, which was the second history documented the ABC did, but it did document the history and it, it did make a lot of young people realise uh, that, you know, there was more to music than what was going on right now and, uh, you know, it's also been responsible, I suppose, for turning uh, 
rock audiences in this country into a real community where it's no longer uncool to go and see your daughter's band or mm. or your son to come and see your band, you know. And we we see when we're touring icon, iconic acts like Bob Dylan and uh, John Fogarty and people like that. The amount of young people in the audiences grows every tour, yeah. which is great. And if you go to a Dutu show or a Bieber show or a Taylor Swift show, you'll see a lot of old people in the audience too. So. Yeah. I think ACDC's last tour was the perfect example of where it was going. And you see, you know, grandpa and grandpa, people my age and above, with their daughters and sons and their daughters and sons and the grandchildren and the great grandchildren all going off in their black t shirts yeah. to see ACDC. It's a good thing. It's, it's a, a great beautiful thing. thing. Yeah, no, it's a great thing. Now, uh, Chucky, the other thing I'd really be interested to talk to you about is uh, CMC Rocks the Hunter, the, the, the CMC uh, program. Uh, and, and well, and yeah, um, yeah. Well, you know, country music has been very much the poor relative in Australia. Um, there's always been a reasonably strong country music scene with your Slim Dusties and your John Williamsons and the Kernigans and people like that. But it's never been a mainstream thing. Um, you know, they still don't get played on mainstream radio. I mean. It's a tough one. Um, we Rob Potts has been a friend of mine for a long time. He's on the board of the Country Music Association of America. He's worked tirelessly to to um, to break down the barriers in this country, and we've been lucky enough, I suppose, to start with the Dixie Chicks. We started off in 200 seaters and ended up doing 100,000 people tour. Been lucky enough to be involved with Keith Urban, who's just become a, a superstar in his own country finally but I mean he's still not fucking getting played on radio so and we've been able to convince iconic Americans like Alan Jackson, Brooks and Dunn and people like that to come to Australia and of course you know it takes them 30 years to get here and then they want to come back 12 months later which is like uh yeah but it, country music's growing in stature and uh, a few years ago Rob came to us and said let's do a Country Music Festival, and we started uh, CMC Rocks the Snowies, and we thought that would really work because in America and Europe, people flock to music festivals in the in the mountains in the summer, but unfortunately, they don't do that in Australia. So we ran it down in the Snowies for about three or four years, and we decided to move it to the wineries in the Hunter Valley, and we did that, and uh, now it's become a quite a big festival and. Um, you know, we had Alan Jackson headline up there two years ago. We had Tim and Faith last year. We're about to announce this year, I should say, and we're about to announce next year's lineup. And you can camp there, and people are going there. And I mean, we already have two very, very big uh, country music festivals: the Gimby Muster, which is a Queensland sort of um, showpiece that's been there for a long time. And the Denny Ute Master, which is in Victoria at Deniliquin, coming up at the end of September. So, you know, to be able to do a big country festival, and, it's, and there's so many great young Aussie country acts coming through. The McClimates, Jasmine Ray, um, Catherine Britton, people like that. So, yeah, it's great. We're really pleased. I mean, what's happened in Australia over the last 10 or 15 years is the audiences, as we discussed earlier, have become much bigger and genres of music can now hold their own. Like, you know, a few years ago, Rufus Wainwright, you wouldn't be able to get the sort of audiences. Uh, the Mexican kids who live in Ireland, Rodrigo Wade Gabriela, and, you know, all of a sudden there's, there's a lot of genres of music that are actually pulling people and that's, that's what's going on and country's another one that's really coming through. It's, well, it's, it's, good to, it's good to see because, yeah. it, it, as you said, it's been so long since. It, I mean, it's really never had that attention, and it's just really good to well, see. Well, there's brand. never been enough people to. Yeah. You know, it's uh, there's never been enough people to support and sustain, unless it was real mainstream or um, off the wall. It, mm. it wouldn't work. All right, well, Chucky, I'm not going to keep you for much longer. I just, uh, with Industry Insider, as I uh, mentioned to you before the interview, it's it's really all about get, getting people like yourself on camera and and, and finding out about uh, your ins insights into the industry. As 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 a promoter and a, and a and you know one of the world's best 
starting from uh, you, you know your grassroots in Tasmania, I believe Rob Potts was telling me about a, yeah, a right. meeting you guys had. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to now, what's what's the one one thing that you've always you know stayed true to that's that's kept you through the ups and downs of the music industry? What 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 would be the oh you know the passion yeah. for music, the love of music, uh, the belief that uh, uh, we're as good as anywhere in the world, and um, that's coming through and. You know, there's been instances of big moments in Australian music worldwide, but, you know, now when I travel the world and I run into hundreds of Aussie bands and hundreds of young Aussie kids working in the industry worldwide, it's, uh, it's really rewarding and it keeps me young. Well, not a true word spoken, mate. And uh, you're, no you're always entertaining at panels as well. I mean, I still, yeah, well, I like upsetting people. I you still know. remember the panel at uh, One Movement a couple of years ago, and that was probably one of the best ones I've seen. It was the first time someone actually brought me to tears because I was laughing that hard. So yeah, well, uh, thanks for entertaining us. We keep, try and do that. Please keep doing it. No worries. And thank you very much for joining us, Michael. Pleasure, mate. If keep you want it, rocking. thank you very much. If you want any more information, uh, uh, Chug Entertainment, uh, we'll put the website up there and uh, make sure you, uh, you, you know, you get out there and see all the action you can if the if the gigs aren't sold out especially the younger bands that uh, they're promoting up here at Big Sound. And Michael Chug from Big Sound uh, 2012 for Industry Inside here at Lime's Hotel Rooftop Bar.